Are we rolling? We're rolling on one. So I bought this thing, recapped it. I was using it the other night on a TV. You got to have this one out. These all in. And it was working fine one evening, so I was going to use it the next morning. And it started to work, then it got real fizzily looking and just pooped out. And I'm, this thing here, I made too. This thing works pretty, pretty freaking good. This plugs into the neutral, and I bought, made that a long time ago for working with computers. I'll plug that in in a moment and see if it works good. <clears throat> it should. I have no reason why it doesn't. But this thing here, this thing is was blowing. So I knew none of that stuff worked. But this, uh, this stuff worked pretty cool. I could get the shape on my... See if I have focusing problems here. Um, this I could get this actual shape on my um, oscilloscope. Pushing different buttons and pretty cool. Then this thing will cover uh, solid state stuff. Um, then over here, um, it's, the red stuff is vacuum tube. It does say Kasha down there, 300. So I got to look into this thing because there's major problems with it. The problem, I was just going to tear it apart and say to heck with it, but. The 1077 I have, I think I'm saying it right, B and K or something. Um, I was paging through that, and that says it does solid state stuff, but it's all vacuum tubes, I think. I can't remember if there's any solid state stuff in that one. I don't think there is, um, except for uh, the I think for, uh, big transistor uh, to the or uh, the biasing. But anyways, I turned this on when it went to the, went bad, um, I noticed that there was no bias, biasing voltage. I checked that right away, hooked it up to my meter and no voltage here. So, but what I did find out, I'm testing this transformer here and I'm uh, started out with this testing stuff you know, just going through it, just randomly, uh, just going through it. But what I did figure out, I figured these two and this brown one were, the brown one was the center tap to that, that's what I thought. This one, these ones here, so, okay, when I go through them with a meter, first I checked the primary and it was open. That's why I'm t I tore into it. But now when I check it, these two have a measurement. These three are tied together, so I'm assuming the brown is a center tap to the two purples. Orange still seems to be open, and I think if I look at the power supply in here, where is it? Right here. Um, I think, I'll get into this greater. I think these are open, and these are these seem to be to these four these capacitors I put in here that I got when we were having a COVID. These ones are legit. Them are Nichicons, but these came right from China and I have a feeling they may not be good. And they could, uh, the diodes are all good though, so I, I shouldn't say that. Because usually when I get stuff from China, it's really good stuff. Really good stuff. But anyways, I had an open circuit, and I discovered that I had this green wire, which is very heavy for the AC input, I thought, and this one. It's hard to see. I couldn't see that one. I couldn't see that one. I could only see this one. And then there was a tube going here. I could see this wire, and I could see this wire, and there's a different kind of wire hooked up to it, which I discarded. No, it's still here. So, and then I could see that going to another heavier wire, and I thought, what the hell's going on in here? But anyways, there's a tube through here, and um, this is open circuit. I th Let's see if I can read what it says on here. Um, I'll have to put my 
glasses on here. It's still very hard to read. Yeah, I can't. It says micro temp, T E M P. It says something above it, but I can't read it. It's worn off. But that, I think this is one of those. I remember seeing these things. I think they're uh, they open circuit when they get to a certain temperature, I think. But anyways, nevertheless, I got a, a good connection here now. So I was going to, uh, with my heat gun, uh, glue them down and then put some electrical tape over it. Um, but I have to go get glue because I think I threw all my glue away because my glue sticks because they turned yellow I think so anyways this transformer um, like I say that I still have a oh, if I put my digital on here here and here I stick them in here also because I'm not sure if there's a layer of plastic over there I, I don't think there is and with my funky eyes it's hard to tell I was also on these things and rubbing them I was having problems with my digital meter with a TV I'm working on it I was checking the line cord and it says open and then I hooked the cord up to it and it works so I take took the back back off of it and checked the line cord again it says open so I don't know so I'm gonna have to um, I got my analog one back out, but my big analog one, I, I put it away because I didn't hardly use it, and I couldn't remember what I used it for, but I used the peak-to-peak -peak, uh, settings on it for uh, measuring the voltage on the cathode of the pitcher tubes to adjust it when it says adjust it to um, 50 volts peak-to-peak, -peak, and that's what I used. So anyways, and then I also noticed th these were cold. I remember them thinking this is so close because this one gets really hot when it's running these are the capacitors I put in it so I'm gonna pull this out and see where the it's just four uh, bolts little bolts and it's got the big transistor to case three on the back I think that's for bias adjusting but I'm not sure it might not be a whole bunch of diodes I tested the diodes they all seem to test good so this one hooks back up in here from the transformer um, like I say everything works this works on I don't know about this I never hooked it up to a colored TV I don't like colored TVs they can start on fire so I was on channel 3 and I was on bar sweep like they wanted and I was on VHF like they wanted um, I didn't have these in because I wasn't, it didn't say nothing about swamping the the automatic gain control or nothing. Didn't say nothing like that. But what I like about it, it's got the stuff with the whole uh, solid state stuff here. And obviously we got a lot of that in here. But I think I hooked up on my uh, oscilloscope with this and got like on the horizontal I got that um, I don't know like a square wave a really a uh, rectangle it was like that and then rectangling up and then down it if I remember right I'll go through it again if 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 I get this transformer I'm assuming it's going to need the high voltage but the high voltage may just be for this horizontal grid tube stuff and vertical and this and this that might be what the high voltage is for because the capacitors I put in I think they said 450 volts and I can't find the originals right now to see what they were rated at I would assume they were at least 350 volts for I, I would I don't know what they were I'll have to find them I have them in a baggie someplace and this thing here I think somebody wiped out they had it on 10 volts peak to peak and hooked it up someplace nasty and it just went you know just flung that baby like a SOB 
So I'm just leaving this on. Uh, I don't need it for ring and test. I got ring testers. Um, I was using a ring tester, one of mine, on checking my spark plug modules on my car when it was running real rough. And I figured it out, but I had to compare. It has three modules for it's a six cylinder, a Chevy Impala. Uh, six owner in each it's I think it's called a false spark system so it sparks there's there's a secondary and the secondary goes from spark plug to spark plug there's no center tap so it takes both ends to spark at the same time to complete the connection which is really weird but with my other ones my other one I have I think it's Ico I got two of them I have another brand one too, and then the one in the um, was it the 314 B and K or K and B or whatever. I have one in there, but that's the least one I trust. I trust the other little ones better. Um, so I have to put this back together. That looks like quite thick wire for going AC input. Jeez. But that's the way it was. I'm going to use a dropping resistor in here and one of those thermo, thermal things, I think. Depends how eager I am to blow it up. So I will hook up, hook up to this real quick. This thing works amazing. I was surprised when I was winding this. So when I wound this, I started at this end. I just put that in for looks. I, it, it tests okay with on a meter, but I never checked it with a capacitor checker. So my red um, is 80, 82 turns, and then that ran out. It was a brand new spool, but that's all it had. And then I bought an extra spool of that green. I think I, I bought a pretty big box of it. Um, I can't remember how many pounds it was. Um, so I got uh, 82 turns of the red wire, and then where this magic marker is, um, that what the next turn past that magic marker is a hundred turns starting at this capacitor. Now it was just wire sticking out, and I obviously that my lighting I couldn't see very well. I couldn't see that at all. The green is better. I have some bad spots in the green, but the light in it was just horrible, I guess, to see that. I thought I was seeing it good, but apparently, with my funky eyes, I couldn't see it. So anyways, I got the diode here. This is supposed to be 1N60s. I bought them, uh, not the most biggest quantity from eBay, but it's supposed to be the 1N60, and they these seem to be the best ones I, I could find that works with it. Um, the cathode is to my left, I guess. I have it. And when I wound it, okay, I got, uh, okay, this was 80, 88 turns, but I had to stop there. Obviously, that's that tap. It had to stop at 80, 88 or whatever the hell it was. 82, had to stop there. So to here is a 100, where the magic marker is. And here, I added another 50, another 50, and then the last one was 40 because I got scared that this stuff was just going to all spring on me because none of it, when each spot, I did not loop it through the, the cardboard thing. And, and uh, so, okay, also on here, I got a 220K resistor going to the ground point and this is my audio output. So I'll hook it up. I gotta pause it. I gotta plug this in the outlet and hook it up. Okay, I'm back here. This is um, May 3rd, 2024, Orange of Beginner's Corner. Um, this capacitor here, I don't want to move it, but um, I'll work with that too. So I have it hooked up to here. I want to disconnect this in case I want to I want to disconnect it and and electrical tape it up and all these things I have so that I can save those maybe for uh, my uh, capacitor checker if it's the same kind of tube. So I put this here to separate to, to separate it. I have another 
schematic of something that's had a 0.01. Some have 100 picofarads. So I'll, I'll see what happens here. I got it, my ground tagged to here. I would like to put a fuse in here, inline fuse, at the lowest possible. So this is hooked up. Audio output is to that 220k to ground, and then the cathode side of this, and then that is into my 88 turns from the antenna. I cannot put an antenna on it. It makes it horrible. Just 375. I sound hummy. Something isn't right. Cold? I'm freezing if I don't have clothes on. So I, I'm not going to do it. He has a Kaya that's a knack at rip. So these are two stations that aren't very far from me. They're only probably 10 miles, not even that. Here, a section beginning way back with Jotham. And we had Ahaz, Patriots, who? Never heard of That's what the antenna tower is, I don't know. I assume that's the antenna tower. This one here seems to be real weak. The idea of this is I can take it and ground it, and it changes my capacitance. So... I'm like here, I'm like right here. I don't have enough capacitance. So if I grow, if have a uh, slide switch on there, I can slide it with this capacitor. It'll put that station about here. So then I'll have more, maybe below the AM band, maybe. Watching all those uh, the the championship parades on WGN and Jordan. See, I, you know, as one twenty four. The knowledgeable staff earning your stripes with this guy by ways of social media. Four five four. Yeah. Aren't there a lot of faster guys out there? Music. I guess this I can't have music. Hezekiah was naturally frightened. And very frankly, although a good king and a revival came in his reign, he was, I think, a so, weak king because he attempted. I don't want this either. The invasion of Jerusalem. So I can't hook an antenna up to it. It'll destroy it. But I can do different things back here. You set yourself up for for being clowned by doing this too. We're out heavier piece of Jerusalem night and what he had paid didn't help at all. That's not something new. Our nation since World War II has followed a very weak This wire we have goes right to here. But what I did notice throughout the What I did notice is um I originally put this on the board over here on the bottom I had it on the bottom side. I had the this <laughs> I had this way over here, and I had this quite a ways away from it, just with alligator test leads, and it worked a lot better, it seemed like. So, I, so I'm going to put this back on the, flip the board over, and put this in this position way over here, and I'm going to move this as far over here as I can, but that's about all I can do, really, because I want that slide switch. So I don't know what to do. I'll fiddle around with it. I got more wood. This has teak oil on it. Horrible job. And I have some plastic. Plastic holding that down. And the diameter of this. This is a potato chip thing. From a dollar store. So in millimeters, centimeters, this is going to say, okay, this is going to say, it's going to say seven centimeters, I guess. But I wrecked some of this. It's actually a little longer. Let me see. 
Now seven. Yeah, where the heck is it? It's hard to do. Now it's looking a little lesser than 7.2. Centimeters. So I don't know how many Pico Ferret set is. I'm assuming point zero 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 something zero 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 zero. Under those groves and on the one with those heathen twenty two. I don't know. Or maybe God. one's two hundred volts. These are usually like one thousand five hundred volts. One thousand six hundred volts. So. Destroying the worship of the people. so I don't know what it is. I don't know these. But when on my capacitor checker it said you know, on one of them it said a certain amount and it's not really accurate on my capacitor checker, but I I, I will figure out the value. I got a bunch of plate, uh, those blue colored ceramic capacitors. I call them plate capacitors um, that I could compare this with. But it's, I had, I tried about four different ones, and this is the one that I it put it up the most. Some of them were smaller in value, so it, it wouldn't put me up much. So I wanted it to put me up like, you know, to halfway of. So this one worked the best, uh, so I'll put the slide switch over here, and then I can have more. Horses ready for a game, one of their. I can have more this way. Maybe it gets in the long wave. I'm not sure what it'll do. Below AM, maybe somewhat. I'll check with the signal generator and um, RF signal generator when I get this thing completed. And I'll check with the uh, frequency counter, my little oscilloscope thing, and I will check and see what that with the with the frequency or the, yeah the frequency goes down to. But it works pretty good. Um, oh wait a minute, that green wire, actually that green wire is a smaller. Spool. When I'm thinking that big one, that's this. This one here is. This is number 18 wire. This is the one I was thinking about. This is, no, the green spool is way smaller than this. I'll try to get a spool like this with uh, number 22. Yeah, I got mixed up here. This is 18. I bought this for making a. Uh, Stuff for ham radios with uh, what are they called? Terroids or pteroids or whatever they're called. That's what that's for. But anyways, this works pretty good. Um, I was watching these guys and stealing their ideas and see what I can do to make one. Um, but I don't like the grid leak one. I, I just find that irritation um, not good. Uh, but I want to try to make a short wave one. Design services and in home not going to deliver you. Well, here number and. But I don't understand why I can't put an antenna on here and make it better. More than 100 years. Are you looking to own your aim or master? I just put about a 10 foot piece of wire on it. No matter what I do with the wire, it just made it way worse and I was moving stuff around this okay this variable capacitor obviously uh, is tied together and this here obviously goes to the capacitor the casing of the capacitor obviously is tied to this it's right here to the end the second one to the capacitor is right here so these windings are the capacitor this thing I couldn't get nothing going with it. It's like a useless. And this one here worked the best. I'd move the diode around and different places. All the configuration I did, this seemed to be the best except for external antenna. It sucks. But it might work some places. This is 610. This is loud. This is a really strong signal. I, I know the guy on there. That's this this channel right here. First, 
heck is it? Pessimistic. It's not that. That's a church that channel. That's 710. This should be. It should be here. Here it is. A gun room or unloaded with a locking device on it, so that when the criminal tries to kick in your door uh, and and take your goods or take your life at in the morning, you have to get up, find the locking device, unload your fire. Or, Load uh, the take the locking device off. Find your ammunition that's kept in a separate facility. Load it and get ready to uh, take on this intruder, which, by the way, will have killed you by three times over by that time. The second one is HF 601. This one's a little more reasonable, understandable. It requires firearm owners to report the loss of a firearm to enforcement agencies within 48 hours of the loss or when you discover the loss. I don't know why I have this like, it sounds like a ground wire off a tone arm on a phonograph. It sounds like the missing ground on the tone, tone arm. Stolen from you. If somebody table. steals my firearm, you better believe I'm gonna- Tone arm and tone and the table. I guess what I'm trying to say. Sounds hummy. bipartisan language, House Republicans, Proposed to increase penalties. No. Okay, anyways. So I will get back to this baby. I, I, I was just going to throw it away, but, you know, it's this. I have nothing else I can do this. Which is, I thought that was pretty cool to see on the TV. It's the only thing saving it and the Salt State stuff. If these, if those two orange wires are open, I'm afraid this stuff ain't gonna work. I'm, a, I'm assuming that's where the high voltage is used. Um, this stuff is gonna be, you know, no greater than 24 volts of AC there out of the transformer. So I'll get back to that. I have to go get some glue sticks. So I'm pretty happy with this. I don't know about that grid leaks type stuff. If I'm going to try building one of those, I see stuff with um, um, a 3V4, I think it's a 3V4, 1.5 volt filament tube, uh, uh, 12 AU7 tubes and at running at like very low voltage. But you also have, I have a bag of automotive tubes for car radios which run at 12.6 for the filaments and a very low plate in, in grid number two vol voltages. The, the pig on that would be the filaments, you know, because uh, they're not wimpy filaments in those uh, automotive tubes. I got a whole bag of, not a big bag, but, you know, decent size of automotive car tubes. Matter of fact, I have this one. These tubes right here. But I was going to try to get this thing working somehow and fiddle with it. I was going to get in front of the converter tube here. This will be the first IF. I was going to fiddle with it. There's just a, a few breaks on the bottom that have to be repaired. Make sure it gets voltage through. I think there's like several of them on this corner also. So apparently this car radio was dropped. It was a General Motors radio. But these are the kind of tubes they use like 12. What are they? This is this is the detector one. First audio frequency. I'll pull them out. So this is the converter converter but well I can't get this thing to focus this says 12 B 12 D Z 6 12 D Z 6 I think if I get this to focus 12 D Z6. I know it wasn't a 12B Z6 because that's an IF tube. Number two, this will be the IF tube. Wait, 
well. It's up here. Gotta watch that. Um, 12A T6s are always up there. This I can't read. 12A... 12A D6, I think. So that's an IF. That goes in that. The next one, I think, is another IF. 12... 12E K6. 12E K6. That's IF number two, I guess. And the uh, detector tube and first audio amp. I think there's a diode in here. It's a, is a 12DS7. So these plates just run at like 12.6 volts to 14.5 volts or something. And if this has a grid number two, I can't remember. It looks like, yeah, I see a grid number one, grid number two, and a, oh, maybe even a grid number three. Delco. But I gotta quit here. I'm out of time. Out of time. This phone only runs for so much time.